Do you know why today was a great day for you? A holder of physical gold, physical silver, or even precious metal mining stocks? We're going to talk about that in this video because today on many levels was a huge day for precious metals. And what's going on with this box? I just got home like an hour ago from a spring break trip, Silver Dollar City, because even when I go on vacation, it has to do something with precious metals. But nonetheless, I come home and the bear, he's got this box that says, do not open. We're gonna have to open that a little bit later and see if it has anything to do with this major news change of weather, change of seas that we have in the precious metal sector. Let's get started, you and me, right now. Silver, $23. What do you think about that? Gold, $1,970. Guys, it was just what, like a month ago that gold was fighting for $1,800? We have reason to be happy. What, what is even more important is, have you noticed there's a paradigm shift? This always happens before gold or silver move into prolonged upswings or downswings. Now look, none of us have a crystal ball, but it's becoming fairly obvious to me at least that we're having one of those shifts right now, uh, a change in the weather for the price of the precious metals. And that all has to do with the Fed, of course, and how they're reacting today. We had the Fed come out with a quarter percent uh, interest rate height. We talked about that. That's what we'd expected. And the prices of the metals responded like we would have expected. But there were some big things that Jerome said when he talked, right? He talked about the fact that they'd actually considered a pause altogether. He talked about the fact that this mini banking crisis that we had was acting to contract credit conditions in the economy. We know that the economy is not doing anywhere near as well as they're saying. So this is all resulting in Jerome being in a box. But guys, it gets even better because the king of all good things that can happen for precious metals is about to happen. Jerome himself, when talking about inflation, had two things to say. He said, it will be bumpy. If he's saying it's going to be bumpy, you know he knows that fighting this inflation is going to be darn near impossible. He also said, quote unquote, we have a long way to go. So what does that create for us, precious metals holders? It creates an environment of stagflation. And I have preached this and I will continue to preach it. Stagflation is the most fertile ground we can ask for as investors in precious metals. Go back and look at what happened in the 70s and early 80s during stagflation. Look what happened to the metals prices during those periods. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada. Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec, each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well-financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. So what do we call this? A paradigm shift? The big cruise ship is finally starting to turn around. However we want to slice it or dice it, the Fed is in a box. And we're going to have a period likely a couple years, maybe longer, that are gonna be very supportive to the prices of the precious metals. Ow, man, the darn bear kicked me. I think he wants me to open the box that he has. Let's see, you know the bear's waiting for $2,500 gold. Look at this, do not open. I wonder what's inside the box when you open it. Oh, it's Jerome Powell. Huh, let's put him back in there and put him back on the bear in a second here. Jerome Powell is in a box, guys, right? He's trying to fight inflation, which he's now admitting is gonna be bumpy. And at the same time, he's got an economy that's doing cruddy. He's got the rest of the world kind of against the United States. 
And, you know, just any way you look at it, a banking crisis, he is in a box. And that's going to be good for the price of real money, gold and silver, that have been money for thousands and thousands of years. And then on a side note, Yellen comes out this afternoon and makes the statement that, no, we're not going to do blanket FDIC insurance for all the... That only serves to hasten this mini banking crisis that we have on our hands right now. Things are going to get interesting, and I'll be here for you through it all. Don't forget, you can always come back and visit with me and the bear here in Ron's basement. You can leave a comment in the comment section to the video. There's a lot of great learning and dialogue that's going on there. Most important, until next time, you be well.